Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another episode of Stephen Carey's Country Lifestyle. And today we are going to keep it so local that I can taste it. That's how local we are. We are going to go to... Milton, Ontario. Milton, Ontario. We live in Milton, Ontario. We just live in the country of Milton, Ontario. It's called Milton North, which is north of the 401. But we're going to go into the town of Milton, uh, into downtown of Milton, because Milton's big now. Actually, Jeez. we live in Nassagawea. Yeah, we live in Nassagawea, uh, which is north of Milton. You're probably wondering what the hell that is. So, anyways, let's start this show, guys. Look, there's deer over there. Look. Oh, no. What is that? What the hell? What is that? Oh, turkeys. Hey, I gotta get that. <laughs> Turkeys! Where are you going? Why, why, why? Why are you scaring them off? Oh, I can't get that far. Sure you can. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out! They're running away! Can you see them? No. I can oh see God, you. God, they're huge! I can see you. You're huge in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can we go to Milton now? Leave the damn turkeys alone. So we're heading into Milton right now. So while we're going into Milton, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the population statistics here for Milton. So Milton uh, in 1871 had 891 people. And when we moved here in, into Milton in 19, uh, 2001, we had a population of 31,471. That was in 2001 when we first bought here phase one of Madame Holmes. Now the population, well, as of Wikipedia 2016, had 110,128 people. Now we gotta find a Milton sign because I know now in 2019, there's a lot more people than that. So the growth rate for Milton, what they're anticipating for the year 2031 will be 228,000 people. Holy smokes. So Milton is a booming, booming town. Uh, is it still considered a town or a city? That's a conspiracy that I've been watching all over Milton's uh, social media, but we'll have to get down to that later on. But Milton has been booming with a lot of big box stores have come into town. They know what's going to be happening here in Milton. A new university is coming into Milton. Uh, so there's a lot of things that are going to expand Milton to those numbers eventually in the future. Okay, so the way we're going to start off our tour is breakfast, and we're going downtown Milton to the heart of Milton for breakfast. Hey everybody, we are here at Troy's Diner, and you always have to start your breakfast here at Troy's Diner. It's a, it's a mandatory thing, especially on a Sunday. This place is packed. And we got Troy right here, the main man. Hey Troy, how long have you guys been here at this location? Just over to 13 years. 13 years, 13 years of years. eggs and bacon and everything else. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. pretty crazy. <laughs> pretty crazy. What's your busiest mornings? Is it Sundays? Or? Uh, yeah, usually Saturday, Sundays. Are pretty Saturday, busy. Sundays, nice. Now, if you, if you, if you live here in Milton, and you know all about Troy's and if you don't live here in Milton you must come to Troy's because they do have the best breakfast you also have lunch and dinners here right we do and have an incredible milkshakes also milkshakes I don't know where my milkshake sign is but some really cool uh, milkshakes we do so now you got you've had Wayne Gretzky's father here Walter Gretzky you've uh, you have a lot of cool, 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 okay you know you have a lot of celebrities that come here but also what's with all this coca-cola stuff Explain you know what it just started out as uh you know as a kid collecting a couple things that turned into this oh i just you thought know. you drank a lot of coca-cola well that too you know that too. that too now troy is very active in the community does a huge fundraiser here for christmas uh just a little bit about that troy well, this year's Miracle in Maine, we partnered with uh, Halt Regional Police, and I'm proud to say we raised over 600000 in toys and food and money awesome. for uh, local charities, women's shelters, Salvation Army, McMaster. So, yeah, it's really cool. Oh, that's you know, it's, great. It's great. You know what? We're able to host it, but it's really the people of Milton and you guys. You know, you guys have been there from day one helping. Yeah. So that's what it's about. Well, that's amazing. You know, like we always shop local here in Milton. Milton's a very tight community. We might get it, We might be getting bigger, but we're very tight. And Troy's only one location here in Milton. It's the busiest one. Shop local, eat local, and come visit Troy anytime. Okay. Sure. Troy. Thanks. We're the Good to see Hey, you wait, guys. wait, wait. One more okay, question, Troy. Yeah, one silly question. How many eggs do you go through on a Sunday? 
Honestly, I wouldn't have a clue. Today was probably eight or nine cases, and there's 15 dozen in a case. So oh that's gosh. a lot. <laughs> You did math. Yeah, it's a whole lot of eggs. <laughs> okay, we're, we're going to start buying some chickens and start laying eggs for Troy, okay? There we go. <laughs> okay, we'll see you guys soon. Let's eat. Okay, so Troy's was an awesome success. Right, Carrie? Great. Yeah, we saw you stuffing your face. It's awesome. <laughs> so, Troy's, if you're visiting Milton, you have to come to Troy's. It's like mandatory, okay? Now we're off to go explore Milton. Look, see that? That's Milton. You see Milton? That's downtown Milton. Milton's massive. Let's go. So we're at a very, very popular site here in Milton. It's called Mill Pond. Now Mill Pond is actually a man-made lake. It's not original. Right along the side here runs a 16 mile creek. It was dammed, dug out, and it was done by Jasper Martin and his boys back in 1820 to 1822. It was created so they can use the power of the water to create a mill for grain. You see that? Now, and I bet you some of you didn't know that this mill pond was not original. Now, they do have some really cool stuff here in the summer. They have fishing derbies here for kids and all that. It is stocked with fish. And uh, there's a lot of history. If you do come to Mill Pond, there's a lot of boards here that will tell you all the history of Mill Pond. So come on down to Mill Pond. In the summertime, it's nice. Obviously, right now it's frozen. Carrie, are you frozen? Yeah, Actually, it's, oh, a, cool. it's yeah. a nice day today. It's a it's nice bad. day. Anyways, Milk Pond, it's a must see when you come to Milton. Carrie, where are we off to now? Uh, let's see some of the heritage buildings downtown. Okay, so we're gonna go into downtown Milton, guys. Let's check this out. Hey, Carrie, what was this before, this old funeral home? The McCursey Kersher Funeral Home was the site of a roller skating rink in the 1800s. Awesome stuff. Look at that. You would never believe a funeral home was a roller skating rink back then, huh? So this is the old site of the uh, post office here at downtown Milton. I love what they did with this, okay? They turned it into a restore, helping the community out. See? That's using your noggin. When they put a new post office in the old building went for a good use restore make sure come and use these guys awesome stuff I've purchased stuff from in there before helping the community out that's what it's about so we're standing in front of the original courthouse jail for Milton from 1855 and uh, they have a really cool courthouse uh, courtyard over there which we're gonna show you shortly uh, but this is the original courthouse for Milton uh, and obviously they've converted it now to the town of Milton, so this is where the politicians run the city, or the town, the town. That's still something we have to find out. We have to find, the, it's a town of Milton. But it is after 100,000 people considered a city. I don't know, there has to be We need to find somebody. Let's go inside the town of Milton. Let's go see if we can find the Mayor Gord Krantz. Yeah, and on a Sunday. On a Sunday, and see if he can tell us the answer to that. So what you see here, is the courtyard now that courtyard back from the prison days let's get closer so behind this door right here is the courtyard so the courtyard was part of the jail carrie do you have a year for us please 1855 oh well, okay built. so 1855 the year the building was built but behind this door is the courtyard to the courthouse which was the jail and uh there is told that there was two hangings behind these doors right here and there was one inside so those are total of three hangings when this was run as a courthouse back in the 1800s there is also I did read up online that there was a paranormal what you paranormal, paranormal <laughs> activity. activity in the building and there was a you know a squad of people that came in here to try to figure that out so interesting <laughs> should we go check it out ourselves no Let's go look for ghosts. Anyways, that's interesting facts. So there's the old section, the courtyard that we were just talking about. And here's the new part, the, the new extension to the uh, town hall that they have built here in Milton. So this is where obviously where everybody sits that runs our city right here, okay? It's pretty cool stuff, I love it. I love how they have a good rustic and modern here. It's, 
it's a good combo of the two a lot of history in Milton so you know just come down and visit the town of Milton it's a really cool building I think they actually have tours happening in that part of the building the old jailhouse so courtyard the courthouse or jailhouse or <laughs> courtyard so downtown Milton is home to a lot of small little boutique style shops a lot of great little stores restaurants to attend a lot of history here downtown Milton right here behind me as you can see we have the old Thompson Hotel 1864 now home to La Toscana nice Italian restaurant you guys got to come and check this place out I've had dinner there once I enjoyed it a lot of history in Milton so downtown Milton is uh, home to a lot of many restaurants I did mention boutique style stores but we got restaurants from jerk chicken Italian restaurants we got Thai food we got like everything so like if you literally don't know what you want to eat just park your car walk down the street you'll find something that you'll enjoy so we're here in downtown Milton at Eddie O's. It's one of the hippest, coolest bars downtown Milton. The great selection of beverages, I must say, and they also have some great food. And Eddie, who I'm gonna go look for, he's Portuguese like me, and he makes some good food here that's Portuguese also. So Eddie O's, pretty cool concept. Downtown Milton, guys. Look at the roof. This place is awesome. It's cool. Let's go find Eddie. It's my whole life. Oh, how you doing? <laughs> I found Eddie. Eddie. Listen, man, you have a cool joint here. I oh, love thank it. Thank you so much. Downtown. Listen, how long have you been here for, man? Uh, five years. Five years. Hey, five you know, so, years. I, you know, so where did you get the inspiration of decor in here, man? It's very uh, industrious. Many, nice. many, 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 many years of doing it for everybody else. Now, listen, we're both Portuguese. Now, yes. what do you have on tap for Portuguese food? Uh, amazingness. Now, you're going to have Portuguese people come here for the Super Bowl, right? Do you have yes. some chorizo com pop We right? always have chorizo and pop oh, Okay, good. Not good. even on the menu. That's how VIP that is. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, you know, Eddie O's and Eddie here. This guy. And it's, and it's all about these guys. Oh, look. All these guys here. Awesome staff That's here. Look at the stuff. kitchen. You know what's cool? You get to see the kitchen. These boys are cooking right here. Yeah. yeah. So come and check out Eddie O's, man. I love this place, man. Thank you so much, man. Downtown Milton, guys. Eddie O's. If you want a nice funky, funky dishes, funky drinks, and funky atmosphere. Hey everybody, we're here at Java Night and right here in Milton in downtown Milton and this is Lauren, one of the owners here. It's a family run business and uh, Java Night's a really cool store because it's all mostly Keurig. They have the machines, they have all the coffee pods. Lauren, tell us about all your coffee and varieties here. We have over 250 different types of coffee pods that you can choose from. Awesome. And you know something that's pretty crazy, like I walked in here the first time and it's like you can come here though, buy two of these, one of these, three of these. So it's not like you have to hold, buy a whole box, you know, you can mix and match. And with 250 varieties, that's almost a year of different coffee every day, so that's pretty cool. Now one thing I noticed was pretty awesome was Cake Boss Coffee. I'm going to have one of these soon because i got to try Cake Boss. It's one of my favorite TV shows back in the day. So also what's really cool about the store, Lauren, follow me, sweetheart. Come here. Local products, okay, we're all about shopping local and Lauren has local products here. Everything from, Lauren, tell us. Uh, from Mazzucato Maple Syrup in Campbellville, Martin Sweet Farms in Campbellville, salad dressings from Oakville Gigi's. Uh, cheese topper spreads and chutneys from Picton, hot sauces from Georgetown, cookie in a jar from Milton, and soups from Caledon from Local Soup Girl, and then we also have locally roasted beans as well. That's amazing. You know, so I mean, this is what it's about. Small town Milton, we have to stick together, shop local. So to get in contact with Lauren here at the Java Nut, you can go out to their Facebook, Instagram page at Java Nut Milton. Lauren, what's your address here? 391 Main Street East. Yes, and uh, we're across the street from Edios if, uh, and next door to Oshima, uh, all you can eat sushi. So it's a very easy spot to find on Main Street. So come down and support local businesses. Thank you, Lauren. Let's go have a coffee now. Thank you. Okay, so Lauren's gonna show me how to use this machine. I'm not familiar with the machine. So Lauren, what do you do? Put the pot in. Yeah. Close it. Close it. And press start. <laughs> it's a coffee machine for dummies. I think I need one of those. <laughs> 
Oh boy. Hey everybody, this is Christine and she's been here before many times, many times, yes, right many here times. to Java Nut. She's a client and you know something, tell us about it. Your experience here dealing with Lauren here at the store. Well, I've dealt with Lauren and her husband and they've both been excellent. They provide great advice. They are always welcoming and providing coffee. Pretty cool. Like, what did you buy today? Let's see what you bought. Oh my goodness. Um, oh, there's a variety. I don't know if we're going to... We, so do, a... we do the 27 for $20, 19 dollars yeah. So we get a bit of variety. The Beaver Rock, which is from Barry, is amazing. Local. Um, <laughs> that's local. Um, the donut shop is really good. The Emerald is great. I actually also get the Cameron's Jamaican blend, Blue Mountain blend. Nice. So that's what's cool about J Java Nut. You can come here and buy any types of pods you want individually, mm -hmm. and you have a variety of different flavors throughout the week. So mm -hmm. that's amazing. Mm -hmm. So this is a really cool concept you got here, Lauren. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I should buy a here your birthday's coming up. I'm gonna buy you a mach <laughs> coffee machine, okay? And I'm gonna come get my pods here at Java Nut. The, the shorts cookies are really good too. Those look good. They're great for this. So it's all about shop local, mm -hmm. okay? And this young lady does. So that's amazing that we great. gotta support local businesses. So cheers. That's and this amazing. coffee is phenomenal. Yes, I'm drinking the uh, which one is it? The uh, Cake Boss one. Cake Boss Coffee, I highly recommend the dark roast. Come here, see Lauren, buy some pods of Cake Boss. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, guys, we're here at the Milton Sports Center, and Carrie and I, as we mentioned earlier, when we got married, we moved to Milton in 2001, which had a population of only 30,000 people. Uh, the sports center is new to us. Uh, it came in afterwards, after uh, obviously. But one thing, though, we have to acknowledge is the McDonald's back there. <laughs> So when we moved here in 2001, I think we had one, yeah, we had one McDonald's. 25. Okay, now we have four McDonald's. Uh, Tim Hortons. Okay, we lost count, but I think uh, when we first moved, yeah, when we first moved here, they only had two Tim Hortons. Now there's over a dozen, I think. So the growth of Milton is actually booming. And as we all know, I think they're in phase 4,339 <laughs> now for Madden Homes. So, so this sports center, it's awesome actually and this is actually one of like two or three now they're the new one that's built they're being built right now and uh so milton is taking care of their sports sports athletes and uh, we obviously live next door to one yeah travis garrett travis garrett's our uh, olympian here in milton and there's many other celebrities what other celebrities does milton have mr dress up who's from milton mr dress up yeah oh <laughs> okay ernie coombs Okay, so now uh, the guy that went up to space, what was his name? Chris Hadfield. Chris Hadfield was from Milton. <laughs> you really okay. should know that. <laughs> wow, come on. Do you know how much there is to collect in this mine for Milton? So Chris Hadfield was from Milton. Anyways, let's keep going on. Let's go see what else Milton has to offer. So one of the awesome sites here is the Milton Velodrome right here, right behind me here. This building here was created for the 2015 Pan Am Games. It's so awesome that we're actually part of that. And we have this building to prove it, that we are in Milton. Awesome. We're here at the new Milton Hospital. Well, my kids were born in that old part right there. And now we have the new part. So Milton Hospital's infrastructure, especially their healthcare, is getting better and better. It takes time, some growing pains for a small town that's getting bigger. But you know something? I like the direction Milton is going. So thank you, Milton District Hospital for delivering my three kids in this hospital, that little building right there. Okay guys, we're here at Rad Brothers now. Now, Rad Brothers is a cool spot. You know, as I was mentioning, Friday, Saturday nights, they have entertainment. My boys, Roger and Patrick, they're nowhere to be found. Mama Rat is not here, but they do have the best soup in town. Mama Rat soup is awesome here. Now, what's cool about this place is they're open throughout the whole week for lunches and dinners. Cool little spot here. It's on Ontario Street and Derry. Right. Yeah. You lost? Uh, <laughs> directionally challenged. I looked over at her. She was lost. Okay. I didn't know you were going to ask me that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Should we cut that up? No. no. Okay, so Highway 25 in Ontario Street is Rad Brothers. You can find them here in the small. <laughs> the place is awesome. Come and see Roger. Come and see Patrick. They're not here. I'm going to have to go to their house <laughs> soon. Now. I'm going to have to go to their house soon and strangle them. But guys, come to Rad Brothers. Friday nights, Saturday nights, they have live entertainment, bands, and DJs. It's pretty much, I think, the only spot here in Milton that has that going. So, 
There might be other locations. Nobody's contacted us, contacted us about it. So, anyways, guys, Brad Brothers, and uh, it's Super Bowl today. So they're probably the reason why they're not here right now. She's still lost. No, I'm not. So we are heading up to the Niagara Escarpment right now, which is that mountain that you see on the west end of Milton. Uh, now, the Niagara Escarpment got its name from the Niagara Falls, believe it or not. So Niagara Escarpment, Niagara Falls, it all makes sense at the end of the day. The Niagara Escarpment is one huge ridge that starts off in New York, goes all the way through Milton, all the way through Tobermory, up along the top, just south of Lake Superior, through Michigan, and close enough to Chicago on the west side of Lake Michigan. Now that's one huge escarpment. So, and we're gonna head up there right now. And it's in the backyard, right? Yeah. The backyard of Milton. Did I say that right? Yeah. Okay, good. Let's go. We're gonna go to the Niagara Escarpment. We're here in the Bruce Trail, which pretty much starts in Niagara Falls, and it ends all the way, all the way up in Tobermory, and it's up on the escarpment uh, near the Milton area. So. It's in a great area to go hiking, to go see nature. We have a lot of deer, coyotes, uh, turkeys. Don't worry about the coyotes. They're afraid of you out here because they're purebreds and not koi dogs. So uh, seeing a coyote out here, they'll probably run away. But turkeys and deer, and there's a lot of great things to see. Nature, get a breath of fresh air. Right here at the Bruce Trail, up on the escarpment. Milton, you're like steps away, so go visit. Anyway. And that was our tour of Milton. Milton's an awesome community, guys. It's awesome. And like, if you want to raise children there, if you want to just uh, live in a place where it's not in the city, where it's congested, uh, Milton's a great place to live. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> congested? <laughs> it's a Portuguese tongue. I'm sorry. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And uh, so we're going to be going off to another city after this, another town after this. So uh, leave comments below if you enjoyed this video and if you have a little town that you want us to come visit. Now, keep in mind, we did get... Uh, comments on going outside like uh, Godridge and King Carden. We will go to those locations more towards the spring summer where it's warmer and we'll be able to enjoy the beach a little bit more. But for now, let's try to keep a local. So if you want us to come visit your next town, let us know, send us a message. We'll be there. Right, Karen? Yes. Good. Thanks for watching. Stop being so politically correct. <laughs> so now, watch our credits. Give some credits to these restaurants that we were and stores that we were at. So see you later. Give some credit in the credits. Yeah, give some credit in the credits. <laughs> okay, let's stop now. Stop! <laughs> Hit stop! Okay, done.